Dear FMG students, this is Dr. Praveen Tripathi, Faculty Psychiatry, Cerebellum Academy. This video is for those of you who are stuck in 120s, 130s or 140s. The reason why I am making this video is I got a message from a student. He said that, sir, my score is between 133 to 140 for the last three exams. And uh, he had joined our live lectures. He said that I was listening to the class and I knew everything. I don't feel like studying. And I told him that if you actually knew everything, your score would not have been 131, it would have been 231. He was a bit shocked that how can I say something like that? So how can I say something harsh like that? But my dear students, if we want to improve, the first thing is we have to be honest with ourselves. We cannot really believe that we know everything, but still we are not passing the examination. In our hearts, we know that there are many things which are lacking, right? So, that's why I thought that let me make a video and talk to the students who are stuck in 120s, 130s or 140s. A very simple principle is this. If you keep on doing the same thing again and again, you will be getting the same results again and again. If you are doing the same thing again and again, don't expect different results. We have to make certain changes if our approach is not working. What actually happens with students who have appeared for multiple times is this. Say you have taken exam three times or four times or two times. Now your hold on PYQs, previous year questions becomes good because you have prepared it multiple times, your hold on PYQs becomes good. And when you open a, the same source and you look at those PYQs, you are like, I, I already know this, how am I improving? But my dear students, your exam patterns have changed. Two years back, three years back, four years back, just doing the previous year questions used to be enough to crack the exam and get beyond 150. But now the examination pattern is more conceptual. They are asking more tougher questions. They still ask questions from the pre previous year topics, but the exact repeats are not there. That is why people who focus only on PYQs can reach 130, 135, 140, but they can't go beyond that. So we have to make changes in the way we study. Also, you have to see where exactly are you lacking? As I said, PYQs probably are okay. But now we have to focus on the concepts and the deeper learning. And that too, you may have to do different efforts in different subjects. Sometimes what students do? The results got announced. Say somebody did not pass the exam. Now he is or she is very dejected, very sad, no motivation to study. And this phase of not doing anything will continue for two months, two, two and a half months. Then one month before the examination, they'll panic that exam is here, I have to do something. Now, if you're starting one month before the examination, what will you do? You again do the previous year questions only. You try to ratify it, you mug it. But again, because you took the same approach, you end up in the 120s, 130s, 140s. We have to change the approach this time. Ratification is extremely important. Mugging is very important. Rote memorization is very important. But we have to add something to it. And what that is? A bit of conceptual learning. A bit of more deeper, more theoretical learning. That is what we need to do. Right? So, see in which subjects are you weak. Students make this mistake. They say, if I do pharma, path, microbiology, medicine is done. No, it is not done. Medicine is one of the biggest subjects. You, you can't solve the questions of medicine by doing patho and pharma and micro or physio. Doesn't work like that. We still have got significant amount of time. You have to identify which subjects are you lacking in. If it was medicine, focus on medicine. Some students leave the shorter subjects and they go for the exam. Not studying shorter subjects is the silliest thing that we can do. Why? Say, let's take the example of psychiatry. Six, seven, eight questions come in the exam every year. You would hardly need two days to complete psychiatry. And out of, you know, the syllabus is limited. Anything out of that syllabus is very unlikely to be asked. If you study for two days psychiatry, the chances of you getting 90% of the questions correct is very high. In comparison, something like medicine or surgery, which is like huge, vast. It's very difficult to, you know, cover even a, a system completely. But completing a short subject is easier. 
so i'm not saying that don't study medicine my first example was you have to study medicine but short subjects you definitely have to study they give you easy marks and they are highly scoring so whatever you were missing whether it was medicine or surgery or shorter subjects you have to study those subjects there are 30 40% of the question from every subject are easy you cannot afford to get even a single easy question wrong even if you study a subject once or twice at least you will get the easy questions correct that in itself increases your score so my dear students i totally understand that you would be demotivated or demoralized if you could not crack the exam for two or three times but this is something that we have to do your career is not going to go to the next stage until unless you pass this examination so make changes if if you have been just reading through notes maybe do something else if you are doing only pyqs maybe focus on something else change your method your method should include more conceptual learning better hold on pre previous year topics and of course pyqs at cerebellum we are already start we have started with the classes mission 200 plus last exam we got really great result it was very encouraging for us also i am not going to ask you to join mission 200 myself but i would say you one thing i'm sure many of your friends did study from mission 200 plus and most likely they would have passed exam talk to your friends and if they suggest you definitely become a part of it if you do not want to become a part of this be, be a part of something else whatever you want to do do it but start studying do not waste your time you do not have enough time to you know stay demotivated or demoralized and saying that naya kya hi kiya jaye what else can i do that is not right let's be honest to ourselves if we could not clear could not clear the exam there was something missing from our side and we have to patch that gap start studying not a lot of time is left but enough time is left to turn the tables study hard pass examination and after that message me may god bless you all